Ramat, the Tier 6 Dido class Pan Asian cruiser, is what we're going to be taking a first look at today. Like always, we will be taking a quick look at the ship's stats, characteristics, and build, then I'll give you my first impressions by jumping into a game. The armor layout is primarily covered in 10 and 13 millimeters of plating, and like its predecessor, has a rather small citadel at the back. From experience with Chungking, which has an almost identical layout, this will be good to poke round corners whilst keeping your citadel in cover. One downside I can see, however, is that you won't want to be taking any fire at all because your HP sits at a mere 23,600, which is going to be run down very quickly. Whilst already it sounds like this will be horrid to play, one key difference between this and Chunking is the main batteries. Armed with 10 133mm guns, reloading every 7.5 seconds, you're going to be able to put out a vastly higher DPM. Of course, this does come with some limitations, one of those being a 12.5km range, and the other being 22mm of penetration, which won't really suffice if you're being up tiered. Moving on to the torpedoes, you've got a triple launcher on each side, firing deep water torpedoes up to a range of 9.5km, moving at 61 knots, and they can heavily damage cruisers, battleships, and carriers. As for the anti air, again, it has got a great range of 5.8km, and with 145 damage per second, with access to the defensive AE consumable, this will be able to sufficiently ward off enemy carriers. In terms of speed, it can reach 32.3 knots, along with a quick rudder shift time of 6.5 seconds. Then finally, with a concealment expert and a camo, like Chungking, your detection radius can be brought down to 9km, which is further aided by having access to a long action smoke screen in which you can rain down hell on your opponents. Now we're getting into a game, I'll quickly run through my build. I'm using the Special Commander Darong, and with 14 points, I'm running Last Stand, Pyrotechnician, Adrenaline Rush, Concealment Expert, Swift Fish, and Superintendent. As for the upgrades, I've gone for a standard Main Batteries Mod 1, Damage Control Mod 1, Aiming Systems Mod 1, and then for the fourth slot, I've gone for Proportion Mod 1. And with the rundown covered, we are now in a game. We're currently playing on the map Haven, and thankfully we are in a Tier 8 game. Now, the reason why this is a good thing is because I'm going to be able to show you how this really performs in the worst possible lineup, which is going against Tier 8 ships, of course. Then that means when you're going against lower tier ships, you're going to be able to perform even better. Now, the reason why this is going to struggle quite a bit, I think, at this tier is because 22mm of penetration is going to really struggle, especially against some of these very, very... Well, not even thickly armoured, it's just a fact of it's not going to be enough to penetrate. And Oh, speaking of which, this is one of the ships we can actually do something about, which is the enemy Kagero. Hopefully you can get one or two hits. Okay, we've got, got three hits there. I'm going to try and get a few more over. And at the same time, I think what we're going to have to do is just generally stay as safe as possible, because... The armor layout being so similar to the Shun King means this is probably going to have the innate ability to be one shot, which is my experience sometimes when I have been playing Shun King, which is just, you know, battleship comes in, single salvo, and that's it, you are dead. So we're going to have to just really reduce the amount or just completely not get spotted at all, or if we do, make sure that we're just not in a position to be completely obliterated. And yeah, you can already see here, this is where this is where the 22mm penetration is going to be a bit of an issue. But we're just generally going to have to try and stay as, I guess, alive as possible and just, just stay as undetected as we can and really just get some treat cheeky shots. Now, we're going to be mainly using our torpedoes and since we aren't going to be really penetrating too much stuff, we're going to be more relying on fires, but... I have bolstered that with a couple of the flags and at the same time the improved pyrotechnician. So we have got a 10% fire chance and with 10 guns then there's a pretty good chance we are going to be setting fires somewhat regularly. Now of course we are in a bit of an exposed position here and speaking of which, yep there we go, I'm going to actually reverse here. Hey, they have just fired so we are safe to fire as well but we are behind this island so now it's just a fact of start spamming and hope we get a fire and hopefully we get a permanent one if they do put it out. So straight away that was the first salvo, managed to get a fire so we're just going to keep on shooting and hope for the best. Of course the limiting factor of this ship is going to be that it's got a bad firing range so I'm actually quite happy it's this map because it means that well we've got islands, we can sit behind them and we can just abuse that as much as possible because ships are going to have to get a little bit closer where we can also start firing some of our torpedoes and do a bit more damage. Also I'm quite liking this as we are able to penetrate the Leon and already considering we are a tier 6 ship in this sort of lineup, we are already on 14,000 damage. I mean in other ships that is, you know, it's a pretty awful amount but so far I'm definitely quite happy. Now they have put that fire out and 
Ooh, that is the Shiritsuyu, so if uh, we could get some folks firing that. Do have to be careful, because if this Leon wants us dead, which, considering we've just been spamming them for most of this game already, yeah, they are going to be putting shots out like that. So if one of these hits us, it's that we are in trouble. Oof, we are just about alive. Now I am going to get our guns turning, and the one thing you'll notice is these rear turrets are actually 360 degree. And, well, as soon as they turn, actually, uh... Yeah, we, we don't really get to use them because that destroyer has already turned away, but that's okay because we're just going to really hold this position as long as possible. Now, in terms of map control, it looks pretty well balanced at the moment. We've got two caps, the enemy's got two caps, and we've actually got the advantage in destroyers, so if we can keep that, there is a good chance we might win. Now, I'm quite happy as well because this Megami is not... Uh, well, they're not spotted and they are coming towards us, so we should be able to get a decent number of hits here. And another thing about the ship as well that I learnt from Shunking is you do need to be somewhat careful with the amount, well, how you're using your smokes, because you do have four of them once you've got Superintendent, and they do have a long action time, but you can use them up pretty quickly, because once they do eventually fade and, ooh, something, I'm assuming that's something else spotting us again. I think now is probably a good time to actually use this. Yeah, there we go, we've got the Megami shooting us, and this may, ooh, I'm surprised that didn't uh, do more damage there, is because... You're going to use them very quickly, and if you have a match that's lasting quite a long time, you're then going to be in pos positions where you will really need to have this mobile cover, and if you don't have that, then that's going to be very, very bad for you, so you're going to want to use this only at times when you really, really need it. Now, our Richelieu is in, honestly, a very bad position here, so I don't, I don't like our chances on this flank, and especially with how close I am, but thankfully it looks like the... I'm assuming that's... I think that might actually be the... I don't know if whether the Kagero has moved or not, but I'm quite happy because those torpedoes are coming for us. Well, aren't coming for us, they're going for the Rishilu, so we should be safe for the time being. That would be good if we could get some spotting and... Ooh, yes, okay, so the one thing about this ship is it doesn't come with a hydroacoustic search, and that's something generally with a line which isn't too good, because although you have got these, you know, the ability to make these pretty big smokes, you don't have the ability to see any torpedoes coming, so it's probably best to sort of move whilst you're creating the entire smoke, so there's a good chance that... Oh, hello. If everyone could please... Everyone to fire on this target, please. They need to be gone. Right, our guns are turning. Let's uh, let's get some shots out. Okay, are we gonna Are we going to get a hit? Okay, we've got uh, incapacitation, so we've knocked out some torpedo tubes. Probably going to be turning left, and I think actually I'm going to start turning to my right as well because we're going to be probably one of the closest ships here now. Now, in terms of where everything else is, they are starting to move into the center of the map, so I'm going to start moving to my right and then kite away a little bit because I'm assuming these guys are going to push. Now, we are all very, very closely grouped together here, which really isn't something you want to be doing, so I'm actually going to try and reposition and see if we can do something somewhere else. Now, there's not really much of being able to shoot at because nothing's really been spotted as we've already lost two of our destroyers and, yeah, the other two are both on the other side of the map, so our spotting is, well, we don't have any, so it's going to be a fact of waiting for some of these to spot and considering how grouped up these are at the moment, I don't really think that's going to be uh, happening anytime soon, so if we can get into a better position here, I think that's what we're going to do. Now, I think this might be a position where I'm going to use another one of my smokes because... We're going to be in the open here, and I'm going to see if I can actually try and get into the sea cap, and see if I can sort of turn this game a bit more into our favour, and... Ooh, actually, that is the Leon. I'm assuming their teammate's going to be there as well, so let's see if we can, uh, see if we can do something there too. I'm probably going to drop some torpedoes down this gap, just in case something does try to come and stop us from capping, but... We'll have to see. I mean, I can see there's the Leon not spotted and there may be the Edinburgh as well, but I don't know where they are as well. And we do also have a repulse, which is going to be quite good in terms of repositioning because that is a very, very quick ship and something that's really quite nice. I'm, I'm quite glad that has been made free because it's just something that you could just really work towards and there's not much... Oh, hello. Okay, now I am spotting this Leon, which means... If I smoke them and try, try to spam them, then that's not really going to be happening. However, I'm not doing this to fire on them, I'm more doing this to get into the cap. But it would be quite nice if something else would spot, so I think me pushing is maybe going to give some of our other ships the confidence to push out, and at that point that's when I am going to smoke up. Now, you know what, I'm going to see, I'm going to see if I'm the one spotting here. 
I'm going to go in here, and if not, then that's going to be brilliant, because it means I'm going to be able to start spamming this guy in. Okay, perfect, they have just fired, so their smoke, well, their penalty is going to, uh, I mean, we're going to be able to see them for the next 20 odd seconds, which means we can get about two or three salvos off and potentially get a fire. Now we are also, there we go, we're getting some penetrations there. I'm actually going to slow down now because our smoke is about to come off action time. Can we get a fire? There we go, that's one fire. Now, since they are probably going to put that out, I'm going to start focusing my attention onto the Amagi over here. And have they put that out? No, nope, that's quite good. So we're going to see if this Leon... No, that Leon's going away. It looks like everything's going away here, but I'm going to drop some torpedo... Well, actually, no. It's probably not going to really do too much at the moment, because the only thing that's coming this way is probably going to be the Kagera, which is going to be dropping torpedoes as well. Speaking of which, there it is. If we can get some shots on them, that would be certainly quite good. Now, I'm going to fire on them, and I'm going to move very soon, because I'm almost certain they've dropped some torpedoes into us. Wow, nine hits. That's very good. If we can get another salvo like that, that would be very nice. 29 seconds and we did get a fire. Let's see if we can get... Oh yeah, okay, so there's the Kigeru dead. But they're going to be running, so the Kigeru is not going to spot us for too long here. So I'm just going to start turning left. And in a second we should hopefully go unspotted. Yep, there we go, that is perfect. Now, we do already have map control and... Oh wow, okay. Do we get a hit or do these run out at the very last second? No. Okay. Well, they they ran out just a second after hitting them, so that is that is perfect for us. I'm gonna try and get another hit because they have just repaired. So if we can get an additional fire, that would be that would be really nice. And oh, there is the Leon, who's I'm assuming going to be wanting to get revenge for. Oh, hello. Okay. Okay. That's good. That's good. We can turn into that, and we are now safe. It'd be nice if some of these guys actually started moving to uh, do a bit more, but. I mean, I'm happy with, with doing most of the work here, that's fine, I mean, tier 6, doing a bit of carrying, just just some of the usual. Honestly, I think this is going to be a pretty easy win here, so I mean, only 49,000 damage, but considering this is a tier 8, well, this is a tier 8 match, I do think we are doing quite well considering. Now, we do have a repulse coming behind, and, wow, surprisingly, uh, our team is running away from it, so I'm going to now start spamming this repulse from this island, and I do believe it's the Kagero spotting us still. I think that's the only thing that could be spotting us, so we're just going to sit behind this, and thankfully the repulse isn't... Oh, wow, okay. I might be able to sneak into this uh, smoke screen here. And we're going to drop some torpedoes here too, and... Ah, right, okay, I was saying sneak into that, but looks like that's not going to be the case, and... Yeah, everyone has, uh, everyone has unsurprisingly run away. So I guess I guess we're just gonna have to go behind this Veneto and see if we can see if we can do something. Oh, torpedo! So we know where the Kagero is. They have moved a little bit. And oh, okay, okay. I am going to turn to my right very quickly. Okay, they have already wasted most of their shots on the Veneto. So I think I might be able to get some torpedoes off. So they are slowing down. That's good. I'm going to aim generally just for their centre there, and I'm going to kite away. So yeah, I can already see the Leon is running away, so there's a good chance they sit the us at the back here. Oh, come on, come on, get to safety, get to safety. Oh no, the Leon started moving forward again. Okay, we've got 18 seconds, but we do have more to... Oh, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Okay, okay, that's, um, that's problematic. They are going to be dropping some torpedoes on us. But we also have torpedoes. If we could just get three seconds, come on, three seconds, please. <laughs> no. Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna have to do this. I'm gonna have to do this. Okay, we're gonna be able to kill that. Uh... There we go. Oh wow. Okay, that actually won us the game there. Nice. That was a bit of panic there, but we are okay. We're okay. That did uh, just about get us to win. Eighty thousand damage. I'm quite happy with that. And. All of those torpedoes were on that single Edinburgh. So, 80,000 damage, I've got to say, at tier 6 in a tier 8 game. That is honestly quite wonderful. If we have a quick look at the team score, we... Okay, we came first place. 1,900 basic speed in this. And detailed reports. Let's have a look. So, yeah, 36 in the Edinburgh, 23 in the Leon, 7 on this, and then small amounts and everything else. Overall, definitely quite happy with that. And I can see that the torpedoes are certainly going to be quite prominent in this... Uh, in this line as well, but overall that is the ship and 
I've got to say, it definitely has its use cases. It's going to be more, I think, islands you're going to be playing. So any map that's got islands that you can sort of use to fire over, that's what you're going to sort of be going for. But at the same time, if you can get those sort of close quarter engagements, that's definitely going to be quite good too. Now, if you did want me to do any more games in this, say, let's say a tier 6 game, or if you just wanted me to get any gameplay where I get, say, over 100k or something, then let me down in the comments below. But apart from that, that really is it for this first impression. So hopefully you've enjoyed, and if you did, make sure to leave a like. And if you wanted to see the Shun King first impressions, then that's on screen now.